So, as you can see here, I've got my little friend here on top of my head. And he is currently having the time of his life. Yes, he is absolutely enjoying Look at his eyes. Look at that little smile on his face. Hello, buddy. Oh, now you're going to turn away because you're, you're on a camera now? <laughs> Look at you. He's actually nestled quite well on my head, but he's doing it in such a way that he's not going to hurt me. He is absolutely playing up his baby face, too. And when you see him bobbing up his head a little here, what he's basically doing at this point, the gears are turning. Whenever he starts moving his head around in circles and his little eyes are lit up, something has his attention, and he is absolutely curious about something, and... or he is up to something. In this case, he wanted to get my attention a little bit more, so he decided to just kind of climb up my arm, rest on my shoulder, and then eventually climb on top of my head, which is where he's at now. And he's like, forget you, I like it here, I'm not moving. So that's basically what he's doing, um, which he'll do at some point. He'll probably just kind of take off at some point when he feels like it. He's probably a little over a year old. And he is quite the inquisitive sort. Uh, when I actually first... Um, when I first came home today, he looked up at me and was like, Oh, so do you have food? Do you have food? And he looked at me with some one of his usual little bright-eyed looks like, Oh, hey, he's back, and I'm hungry. <laughs> so then he decides he's going to come up and just trot, 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 trot. A little bit closer, and a little bit closer, and a little bit closer, and a little bit closer. And <laughs> that, that big old grin, much like you see him got on his face now, the yay, I get to do something fun. Now he understands me apparently a few more things. He understands that I'm talking to a camera, though he doesn't really know what to make of it because now he's looking right at it like, what in the world is this guy doing? And uh, yes, I'm talking about you, baby. You see that? Look at you. Look at you here. He's like, well, I don't know about this. So anyway, he, came, he comes up a little bit further, and I give him some food, and then I'm like, come here and get some. What does he do? Next thing you know, he's over right in my lap. Climbs up into my lap, and is just like, okay, now give me the food. And then he went and tapped me with his wing because it wasn't going fast enough. So he's like, eh, I'm, I'm hungry here. Which, yeah, I understand, you had to wait for a little bit, so, you know, you're gonna eat, you know, that, that's how that goes. So then from that because I'm wearing my coat, and this is a little different for him. So, of course, he, being very, very, very curious, decides that he's going to hop up on my, on my arm, climb up on there, and he's going to test it out with his claws, because this is new for him. He's not quite sure what this means. And so then he went up my arm, managed to climb up onto my shoulder, and was sitting there kind of digging around, because he's like, hey, what is this? Was nestled in the back where my hood was for a bit, and then he decided he was going to check out and see what my ears are because he's not used to people. Because owls don't have ears just like people do. So it's like, well, he's a little different. So he uh, he was kind of tugging at one of my ear at my ear for a little bit, and then I was like, ah, 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 no, 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 don't do that. And he got the message really quick, and he backed off. So from there, he was just checking around the back, being himself. And what does he do? Decides he's going to climb right up the back of my head and on to my head. He's like, yeah, I'd fly, but why not? And again, incredibly gentle. I would say do not do this at home. Most owls are not this friendly. This guy is absolutely magnificent. He is incredibly friendly. He's incredibly sociable and polite. Um, most owls are just not this friendly. They're just not this trusting. And I guess I could understand when it comes to trust issues and such, but he he puts a lot of trust in me. And it's nice coming home and having someone happy to see you. It really is. So, yeah, this is a quick little update so you can see what's going on here. I'm trying to take what video and stuff that I can while I can. And it's nice. 
for how long? Hello there. You want to say anything to the camera? No? Look at you with that little baby face. You are absolutely playing up the cute face. You know that? You are just so cute. I think you do know that. You are just playing up that baby face. Look at that, that little sideways baby face. A cartoon character could just not pull that off. And they're animated cute. I see you smiling. I see you smiling, you bright-eyed, beautiful baby. And now he's looking around. I think he's deciding whether or not he actually wants to take off. But he's like, I'm comfortable here. Why not? I'm not sure if he'll do his little counterclockwise thing. Or you'll see him do his little head bob every once in a while. He'll get curious about something. And then he'll just kind of move his head around in a circle. And then... And then, right now he's just fascinated by whatever I'm doing and he knows that I'm kind of talking so he's moving between that looking out of the corner of his eye fun fact owls have incredible peripheral vision they also have incredible hearing they can hear prey through like several feet of absolute solid debris so right now he's kind of just looking around I think he's looking to see if he can really go anywhere or whether he even wants to go anywhere. Bring my head down a little bit more. Are you mimicking me? Seriously? Uh huh. I saw that. It's like nope nope wasn't me. You see this little guy has such a personality. It's like it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Yeah, I see that I know better. You big old baby. Absolutely spoiled. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> of course, it's in better light, too, so... He's usually a little bit more active during the night time. Like now. He might actually practice flying here and there from time to time. And um, he will practice a little bit during the daytime, mostly before he eats a little bit or before I wake up so he can get a little bit in. Then he'll rest a little bit. If I'm resting, he'll probably be resting somewhere nearby. He always seems to like to keep in with an eye shot and or, or with an eye vision, that is. And then, of course, once he gets fed and that, he may be a little active for a bit before he settles down and naps. Then come the night time, well, he can get a little bit more rambunctious during the night time, but mostly, for the most part, he likes to practice his flying and, getting, and get some exercise. He will walk around a bit, if he can, working those leg muscles and seeing what he can climb on. Owls are incred have incredibly strong grips. And their talons can actually be really, really sharp, so I'm glad that he's actually being really, really gentle with me. And I think it just tells you just how magnificent and friendly this guy is. Because I guarantee you, if he did not want to be friendly, he would not be this friendly. It, that could actually be really, really bad if he did not want to be friendly. But he is actually, he is an absolute sweetie. He's a big, big baby. Ain't that right? I would reach back and pet you, but my, my reach really isn't all that great. And I can only barely see with the camera, so I might accidentally spook you. <laughs> no, that's not me giving you food, silly. There we go. Good baby. No, not food. Yeah, I see what you're doing, little beggar. I just gave you food, silly. Oh, there's his head bobbing. I just gave you food. I just gave you food, silly. His little head bobbing. Uh-huh. Heh. <laughs> Sorry, I would scratch you in the back of your head like you like, but I can't reach that well up there. 
<laughs> I'm not sure if he's going to fly off while I'm up here. He's considering it. That's why his little head's moving around like that. Because he's not really... He's not really working on mischief, but he is trying to see... Figure out exactly... This is him trying to figure out where he can fly and where he can land. That, and he loves getting the back of his head scratched and getting petted, so... He knows I really can't reach him up there too well. Hmm? You let me pet you? No. <laughs> plop, plop. He's like, where did the hand go? I know I saw it. I don't want to accidentally... <laughs> <laughs> when you're dancing, I see the gears turning. Can you fly for the camera? Can you fly for everybody watching? Houston, you are clear for takeoff. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ba, ba, ba. You are clear for takeoff. Lift off, lift off. Or not. <laughs> You're enjoying every little bit of this, aren't you? You little camera ham. Oh my goodness, that is what you're doing, isn't it? You know what's going on. You are posing for that camera. You little camera ham. How about that? <laughs> Go pose for the camera. Go pose for everybody at home. Show them how cute and adorable you are. <laughs> what do you think? Can you see yourself? You gotta turn your head back around to see you now. All your best features. You are so pretty. You know that? And you're such a, well, I guess the for better phrase for you is a handsome boy, huh? Oh, whatever. You're still pretty. Hmm? This is new. You kind of see his little head turn. He's like, what are you doing? And you're like, what are you doing? You can actually see where he's got his little claws like that, but they're not really dug in. Like I was saying, if he actually wanted to dig his claws in, this would hurt quite a lot. But he's just not that sort of, uh, he's not that sort of fella. He's not mean at all. He's very loving. And he's very friendly and just show, goes to show just how, just how, well, compassionate he is. Because if he didn't want to be, that would hurt a lot. <laughs> So don't try this at home. Definitely do not be going looking for for wild owls and such. This guy is literally one of a kind in more ways than one.
So, yeah. Don't go trying to dig up wild owls and hopefully hope that you can ride them around on your head or your shoulder or that you can pet them and snuggle them and such because, well, like I said, this guy's unique in a good way. He's a one of a kind and he's absolutely magnificent, so. <laughs> you can see him kind of move around there. And you can see just how softly he does. He, he, he places his feet in just the right way. I think he's actually getting ready to fly, too. <laughs> oh baby Oh baby Love you I love you good boy Ooh. I won't tap your face I'm trying to be very careful about that. Thank you for being gentle with me, good boy. And thank you for giving me a lot of happy memories. <laughs> well, don't you find a good spot? Can you fly for me? Can you fly for the camera? Show off your elite flying skills? For those owl females at home? Pro tip, they don't actually turn their head completely around. It's actually um, three quarters of the way. So it actually looks like they're turning their head completely around. Does not stop them from giving them full 360 vision, more or less. He's actually trying to make up his mind right now and decide where he wants to fly. That's the other reason he's loosened up his grip a bit, because he's like, okay, I'm going to fly, I just don't know where. Well, come on, come on, baby. Show the world what you can do. Come on. I know you like my head, and I think you're absolutely adorable. Show us some wings. Come on. Remember, don't you even think about pooping on my head. I will not thrilled with that. <laughs> I gotta stop the camera though. 